Hello and welcome to another edition of Soccer As We Like It, the main United direction. As you have heard, Sky Sports have reported it, United News have reported it, saying that Harry Kane wants to leave Tottenham Hotspur. He has put in a transfer, official transfer request that he wants out of Spurs. Harry Kane has said this before, he did say it last year, but he was told to give Jose Mourinho a chance. But Jose Mourinho did not deliver and he was booted out of the club. But Harry Kane has said in the past, he wants to win trophies, he wants to live titles, Champions League, FA Cups, he wants to win that team honour. He said that it's all nice winning golden boots and trying to beat, to meet Alan Scherer's record, which is now about 90 something goals away from meeting Alan Scherer's record. But he wants to win trophies, he wants to be in a team that could guarantee him league titles. Because I always say this, some players make so much money, but when they retire into the mansions and the Ferraris and the Bentleys and the Rolls Royce and the Phantoms, they open the cabinet, there's literally nothing to show they won anything. You see what I mean? So he's one of those players whereby I want to win, a, I want pictures to show I have won something with a team. And I understand that and I get it. And it, look, it looks like Tottenham is not the team he thinks can do that for him. He's not getting any younger. His injuries are getting a bit more frequent. He's had five ankle injuries in the last four years. So it is, he is 28 actually. So if you're watching our video, drop a like, drop your comments, and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the logo at the bottom right of your screen. But I'll say this, is he, where does he want to go? He wants to go to a team that's going to win trophies. Chelsea, Man United, Man City. Man United have emphasised they are interested, but they always say they're interested. They always get linked to a good star. Hurricane is a very good striker, don't get me wrong, but will he fit in? Will he fit into a United team? Will he fit into a Man City team? Will he fit into a Chelsea team? I think he'll do well in the Chelsea team. But I think from all indications, he wants to come to Manchester or Manchester City. Manchester City, if they, I don't think United or even City can afford that asking price of £100 million, which is a bit steep for a 28-year-old. But that's Daniel Levy and him. But they are what you call swap deals. United could, apparently, United are saying that, you know, apparently it's not... Confirmed they could take uh, Lingard and Martial for Harry Kane or Jesus from City for Harry Kane. But you've got to ask yourself, as a United fan, is a striker, uh, is a striker United's priority right now, this season? It's not like we haven't scored goals. It's not like we are not scoring goals. The fact of the matter, Harry Kane is a striker who is what you call a supply striker. He needs to be supplied the ball. And you can see that's where we sometimes have a situation. Because we don't create enough. We play a back six which holds back and slows down our creativity options. If you're not playing Pogba and Bruno high up to feed the strikers, the ball from the back doesn't get to them. So they have to keep going back to get the ball to go forward. So that brings us back to what do United really, really want? Like the Spice Girl said, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Those of you who know the song, you know it or you don't know it. End of, let's move on. But the point here is this, a CDM and a centre back are, should, be, uh, should be United's priorities. Because we can see, without Harry Maguire, we're struggling. With Maguire and a, a poor partner, Lindelof, we struggle. So, we've come to that conclusion. Harry, Harry Maguire ain't the greatest, but he complements another fast, smart-minded, pacey centre-back. That will help United, which will stop United applying a babysitting service of McFred, who are absolutely useless. I'm, I said it, yes, I said it, they're useless. They can't pass their way out of a paper bag. And that's how bad them two are because two of them are doing a job for one player and they still can't even get it together. And that's what is so bloody frustrating. But let's move on. So those are the two places, two parts that United need to read. 150 million. Ah, steep. That's the whole budget, mate. You could get two players for 150 than getting one striker who we don't really, really, really need. 
If you look at it from a critical angle, do we really need a striker? Let's be honest. If, are we just getting Harry Kane for the sake of getting Harry Kane? Because uh, he's a great player, but that's not the priority. It's a centre-back. Because think about it. You have a striker. If you're not getting the ball to the striker, then what next? See what I mean? And you're still leaking goals at the back. And still applying a babysitting service to, 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 to babysit a, a, a bunch of buffoons at the back. See what I mean? It does not make sense. So I will emphasize, I will say, if United get him, fine. But United would need to get someone to create the ball for him and provide a system, a pattern of play that will lead and put ball to feet for him. See what I mean? And that's the only way out of it. There's no not sticking it all or big old Harry up there. If the ball ain't coming in, he ain't going to do nothing. See what I mean? So that's the way it is. So all United fans, I've done so many polls on Twitter, on Instagram. I'm still doing some. Do United need Harry Kane? It's a yes or no. I don't want to hear, oh, he might. No, no, no. Yes or no. Going forward to next season, do you want to see McFred? Do you still want to see the back six again? I think we went for a lot of bullshit this season. We played, we drew 10 games and lost 6 games at home. That's 16 games. 48 points, United took 10. That's not even one third of 48. One third of 48 is 16. We got 10. So you can't challenge for a league title by getting 10 points out of available 48. Ain't gonna happen. The fact of the matter is we did not create enough chances. How do we create chances? By moving the ball faster and having the players in the right positions. But we have... Two players who should be playing faster play, trying to protect the back six. So you only have six players at the back and four up front. It don't work like that. See what I mean? So, let's leave it as United need to get the act together. United like to be linked with the greatest players. Yeah. But do we actually really get these players? You Let's go back Mary Lane. And especially when other teams are involved, do United get through that? No. United like to do deals quietly, behind the scenes, cheap deals that nobody has even heard of the player ever. Harry Kane? Yeah, he probably wants to come to United. But if United are going to buy Harry Kane, they better buy players who are going to support and feed him the ball. Like a right winger and a centre defensive midfielder. So, I'll leave it as that as the judge, the jury, and the members of the public will decide. Do United really need Harry? Drop your comments and tell us what you think. I'll see you guys on our next video today. Don't forget to watch along Man United and uh, Fulham. Another game at home. I'm even scared to watch games at home now because we always seem to lose. All our defeats this season have all been at home. Believe it. I'm out of here. See you in the watch along. From me, it's goodbye and good night.